Hey what is up guys, I am Rahul and today for you I've got 5 tips for the shotguns in Battlefield 4. Now you might be wondering why I used some Walking Dead remix in the intro there, but I just thought because of going around Operation Locker with a shotgun, it just felt so much like The Walking Dead, like when they're in the prison, clearing out cell block D and stuff, I felt like one of Rick's group just going around with my shotgun taking out all the enemies. It was really fun and if you guys do get a chance, just go around Operation Locker with your shotgun and just take out, take out the enemies, you'll just feel like Walking Dead is so cool. So anyway, the 5 tips, let's start off with the first one which is to choose your kit. Now the shotgun like in Battlefield 3 is available to all the kits once you unlock it for the support kit. Now I personally always use it for the support kit just because it feels like it should be used for the support kit, but just assess your situation and use it accordingly. So for instance if you're in a situation where lots of your teammates are dying and stuff, use the um assault kit so you can revive them and heal them up. I should have really been using the assault kit in this um, video pr because we were getting spawn traps so if I was able to revive a few people we would have been able to push back and get C again but I guess I didn't. I wasn't really thinking. If you want to be using the engineer then make sure there's loads of like vehicles and stuff to take out. Then finally the recon where you can actually like put down spawn beacons and stuff to help your team spawn onto you if you're in a nice position and that would actually be pretty good with a shotgun because you can get right closer and um, really like in the combat area because you, it, with a shotgun you're really good at the close range combat. Now the next tip for you guys is picking the right shotgun. Now there's loads of shotguns to pick from in um, Battlefield 4, there's a few pump action ones, a few semi-automatic ones, and I think again just assess the situation and pick accordingly. Now on the whole I do believe that the pump action ones do perform better than the semi-automatic ones, but depending on your situation sometimes the semi-automatic ones will be better. Semi-automatic ones are pretty good if there's loads of enemies just in a line which you can take out just rapid fire, but then again like I did like um, in that first clip in this video I was using a pump action shotgun shotgun and because the pump they pump it really fast it does feel like a semi-automatic one so all the benefits of a pump action ones which of a semi-automatic ones you can get in a pump action one so um go with a pump action one the one i'm using here is pretty good but also there's the spas 12 which is really nice the um Hawk 12G, I think it's called the um, next shotgun after this one you unlock, isn't the best one in the world but it's decent but I on a whole I do prefer this shotgun now the third tip I've got for you guys is picking your shells. Now you've got four shells to pick from in Battlefield 4, the first being the Buckshot, then the Dart, then the Frag, then the Slug. Now the Buckshot is just a normal shell where it's got pellets in it and then when you fire it those pellets like burst and they take out enemies, really great for close quarter combat, not so great at long range. I do try and use them at long range but they really fail badly, it takes like 5 or 6 hits to take someone down and by that time they're probably going to take you down. The dart rounds are a little bit greater at long range and they also do like quite a lot of damage if you want to shoot someone through like a wall or wood or something so they're pretty good but they're not that great at close range so if you want to be using it I would say use it on a conquest match where there's lots of enemies but they're quite far away. The third rounds, the frag rounds are pretty good, they're really good at suppressing enemies but getting kills not so great. I would say use this if you um you're being like attacked, you're like spawn trapped like I was and just use it to suppress the enemies and then allow your teammates to take them out. Finally the slugs, the, the slug is basically just a one round which you fire, it goes really far, really deadly, it's normally a one shot kill to the head and the chest anywhere from like any range but if they are, ha if they do have the field upgrade which gives them armor it will make the slug a two shot kill so um, just bear that in mind. I personally preferred using the bulk shot on Operation Locker basically because loads of the um, combat was close quarters so I felt it performed the um, best. The fourth tip for you guys is knowing your limits. Now like I said shotguns aren't that great at the long range unless you are using the slugs or something but most of the time you're not going to be hitting those long range kills so always switch to your pistol if you do see someone at a longer range. Definitely be using the Magnum or the Rex when you are using a shotgun just because those are the most powerful pistols you can use and they'll be taking out the enemies at the long range really easily. Don't do what I do and try and take them out with your shotgun because you're only going to get hit markers and that will just alert the enemy where you are and they'll be able to take you out. So I did not use my tip in this video so um, yeah don't copy me. Finally my fifth tip for you guys is keep your cool. Now when using the shotgun you will face a lot of opportunities to get loads of multi kills like I did at the start but if you don't keep your cool in them you're probably only get you're only going to get one or two kills because if you just go out all excited take out all the enemies you can see one of them is going to turn around and kill you. 
So what I would do is keep your cool, assess your situation, like do it for two seconds and see how many enemies there are and which way they're facing. Then go out, take the ones which are looking at you first, then the closer ones, then the further ones, and um, finally the ones which are prone last because they'll take the longest time to turn around. And um, if you assess your situation properly and do it like that, then you are going to be do, um, getting the best multi kills. Now, because lots of the times with a shotgun, like I said, you will come up with these multi kills, you got to assess it properly and um. And most of the time it's really easy to assess but just keep that like one or two seconds just to assess your situation because without the assessment you're always going to die and it's not going to be that great for you and your team. Anyway guys these have been my 5 tips for the shotgun um, shotguns in Battlefield 4. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did please leave a like and as always I'll catch you on the Battlefield.